Today we're going to talk about updating your Stern Pinball Machine to a new version of code. What you need to do is browse through to sternpinball.com, click on Service and Support down to Game Codes Library, and open a new window. Here you want to find your game. For me, it's Metallica Pinball. It will open up a new window. What you want to do is select the right version of code for your machine. If you have a Pro, click on the Pro. If you have a Premium, click on the Premium. You can also view the README file, and this will actually tell you the version of the um, file, uh, as they don't really announce it in the file listing. So we already know, for me, I already know there's a new version, so I will go ahead and click the Premium. And hit OK to download that. That'll take a few minutes to download, so we'll come back once that's done. Okay, so we've downloaded our file and we've opened it up with our zip viewer. And you'll see there's two files in the uh, zip file. You've got a .bin file and a .txt file. The .txt file is the same one that we would have viewed online and it just has all the information about this version of code. The .bin file is the actual code itself. So what you want to do is drag that file from the zip file and put it into your USB stick. Uh, you want to make sure you put it into the root file uh, folder of the USB stick and not in a subfolder so that the pinball machine can read it later on. Now that that's copying, we'll take it over to the actual pinball machine and upload the code. Okay, so we're here at the machine. We've got our USB stick with our binary file on there. First thing we have to do is take off the back panel here, so make sure it's unlocked. Lift it straight up, gently pull it out and put it to one side. Now, you'll see this white panel here, this is the Pinball Refinery um, back light LED kit. Uh, I'm going to take this off, they do have holes in here for you to do this operation, but uh, to make it clear to see, I'll take this off and it'll be back to how a standard machine is. This is a close up view of the backboard. We have two steps to do to get this going. First of all, we need to plug our USB stick into this USB slot. It is a normal USB slot, just like your computer or laptop. So plug your USB stick in, like so. Step number two is to come down to this bank of dip switches. And we have to change number eight from the off position, which it currently is in, to the on position. So just use your fingernail, like so, and that is done. So we're done with the backboard. Next step, turn on the machine. It'll boot directly into the update mode. You have to hit the select button, which is the black one inside the coin door. You have two options to choose from. One is update and one is quit. We will choose update. It'll scan the USB stick and it'll find the file that we've put there. So hit select again on that file and you're prompted to verify the image. Now what this will do is confirm that the image isn't corrupt. So if you think there may have been some issue when you copied from your computer across to the USB stick, it's worthwhile doing. This will pretty much double the length of the update and the update is quite long. So if you're very confident that the update, uh, sorry, that the copy from your computer to the USB stick worked fine, um, then you can skip it. I'm fairly confident so I will skip it and we will say no and away it goes. It starts by erasing the um, current code and once that's done, it will upload the, the new code over the top. So we'll let this run and we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so we're back and it's, uh, as you can see, update is completed. Um, instructions are on the screen, so as it says, remove the memory stick. So let's do that. Alright, and set the dip switch number 8 back down. So, easily done. Alright. Now we can either hit select or we can turn the power off and on. So let's just hit select and it will reboot for us. And there you see that uh, the code was updated to 151. One thing to remember, once you've done that, you need to reset all your custom uh, menu options, including turning on free play. Um, so don't forget to do that. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And I have many more videos for you coming soon.